that I have taken a little bit of a hiatus for the last couple of weeks. My schedule has been a little off and filming just wasn't in the cards, but I'm back and I didn't realize how much I missed filming until I got to film again. So, um, also, as you can tell, I have changed my hair a little bit. I've decided to go a little bit darker and shorter. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, I think it looks fantastic and it just kind of works for whatever reason. Um, I love being red, but red is, red is tough on upkeep. I have to be honest. It's, it's tough. Um, so I'm enjoying this darker color. I try to be more my natural color. Um, and this is just a smidge dark, but it's pretty darn close. So today's video, we are talking about um, an Artiste brush. I've heard all kinds of stuff about Artiste brushes. They're too expensive for what they are, or on the other end of the spectrum, um, they're fantastic and they're worth every penny. So I decided that I was going to purchase one brush and see how I felt about it. Um, I did not have this sent to me. It was purchased with my own money and I have the Oval 7. Um, I felt like it was like the perfect size to do foundation as opposed to like the 6 which is a little bit smaller. Now I did a haul last year when I was at the makeup convention um, that Caitlin Caitlin, I think is how it's pronounced, came out with a brush very similar, a little bit smaller in size, more along the lines of the Oval 6, and I just didn't like that brush. I tried to like it. I did. But I felt like it always left streaks on my face. Um, along those lines, I picked this up from Amazon for like $5, and as it turns out, I got like the whole kit of them, and... I'm not sure how I feel about it in comparison to this because this is so good. Um, I feel a little underwhelmed when I use this one on my foundation. But if you were interested to see this puppy in action, um, just keep watching and you can see this is the quickest makeup tutorial I've ever done. So just keep watching guys. Okay, so we are starting off no makeup. I know, don't freak out guys. We're about to make this look all nice and pretty. So I am going to start, I do have the Artiste Oval 7, and I have just a palette that I'm going to put my foundation on. So, um, I kinda wanna go for a bit of a natural finish on my skin today, so I think, um, I've actually never used this brush with this foundation, so this will truly be a first time, but I'm going to go in with the Lorac um, Sheer Professional Foundation in PS3. Now I'm going to put two pumps on my palette and dip it in and let's go to work. So far, this has been a really, really easy application. I feel like it's very even. Wow. So two pumps, and that was what, maybe a minute, if that. I feel like I got a really good, even application. Um, I love how soft this brush is, I'll be honest. It covered some of my problematic areas. Um, I, I am having a little bit of redness, and I feel like it covered that really well. I feel like it just went on really nice. Now I haven't, I have not used this brush with um, any kind of foundation like this that's more on the sheer side. I did use it the other day with my um, 
Shiseido Synchro Skin Lasting Liquid Foundation, and it went on like a dream. I mean, I look like I had flawless skin, and I actually had quite a few problem area or problem areas that day. So I was very very happy. Um, I will say I feel like my hyperpigmentation is covered. I mean, it's not completely gone, but I'm using a very sheer foundation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm using a very sheer foundation, so the fact that I can only see just like a little bit, I am really impressed. I'm in love with this brush, and I like I like the handle, I like the feel. Um, it feels very luxury, if that makes sense. My lips are bothering me, sorry. Um, I, it feels very luxurious, and I absolutely just love the way that it feels on the skin. And I thought that I would hate this way of applying foundation, like, out of the gate. I thought, you know, I am in love with my flat top kabuki brushes and my beauty blender. Why on earth would I use what looks like a hairbrush on my face? But I have to say, the hairbrush, for the win. Um, I feel like it just makes my foundation look so flawless. And my face is not flawless right now, guys. Like, it's, it's really not. So, if you guys have ever been on the fence about the Artiste brush, I'd say don't be on the fence. It's good stuff. I'm going to um, finish putting on the rest of my makeup. I'm going to see how things layer over my foundation, and I will be right back. As you can see, the foundation went on like a like that, literally. Um, I don't think it's ever taken me a minute to do my foundation, ever. Even when using a beauty blender, I still feel like I have to go back, you know, and just re-buff it out, make sure it's perfect, that kind of thing. Make sure there's no streaks, make sure, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Especially ladies that do foundation every day, you guys know. I did my foundation in like a minute with this puppy. A minute. And um, I've only tried it with more... Um, full coverage foundations. So this was actually really nice to try it with a sheer or medium to sheer foundation. And I love the result. I have to say, um, all my other makeup went on top of this foundation beautifully. I feel like I'm having a really nice skin day. Like, I wanna go out kind of skin day. And it's it's beautiful. And I, and I don't know if it's fully the brush or fully the foundation or just a really nice combination of the two. But if you're on the fence about this brush, I would say it's not a need at all. I mean, you can get by. My favorite foundation brush right now is from Morphe. It is the G6. Um, it's, what, 12 or $14? And the Beauty Blender. Oops. Things are falling all around me. And my beauty blender, which I have no idea where it wandered off to. Ugh, I'm always losing stuff. Anyway, oh, here it is. Or the beauty blender. Um, those are my two favorite ways to use foundation, and both of those are more affordable than this. The beauty blender is $20, where the, G, the Morphe G6 brush is like $12, and this is $60. But I have to say, I would buy this again. I would spend the $60, and I would purchase it again, and I enjoy it. I actually enjoyed it to the point where I kind of want to try another one, but I feel like really the only purpose for these um, brushes would be for foundation. I don't see myself using them for blush or for bronzer or for, you know, anything else, really. Let's just be honest. Um, but I would purchase this brush again because I really do enjoy how my makeup looks. So if you guys are kind of on the fence with this, I have to say, bite the bullet go for it if you can afford it. If it's not within your budget, then just keep using what you've been using. I mean, like I said, this isn't a need, it's a want, and I wanted to try it, um, especially after using this one and being a little underwhelmed with it. I felt like this one was really streaky also. If you guys want me to do like a half-face, artiste half-face, um, affordable brush, let me know. Um, so you guys can actually see in person what I see when I tried using this one. Um, this one for me is just superior. The brush is softer. It keeps the product on the top of the bristles. It spreads it beautifully. I mean, it just... Oh, I really do just like the way that it feels, I'll be honest. I could just do this all day. But that is my two cents on this brush. I think it is worth the money if um, you are in the market for maybe a little bit of a luxury item. Um, for me, it kind of ranks up there with my Wayne Goss brushes. 
that's kind of how I, I view it. I love my Wayne Goss brushes. Um, these are a very um, expensive brush line. Well, it's, I guess it's mid-range. It's not as much as like Hakuhodo, but it's it's up there in price. You know, it's not like a Real Techniques brush, but it's an investment, and I plan on doing makeup for, for the next 30 plus years, so it's an investment in a brush, and a brush can last you a very long time if you take care of it and if you invest in, in them. So that's kind of how I view the Artiste brush. It's my investment. I'm going to use it every day or every other day or, you know, four times a week. It's an investment for me in my makeup, and it does save me time. So if you need another way to look at it, there you go. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm happy to be back. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.